What is up guys, it's your boy Solam here, back with another Dragonflight gold making video. This is going to be a bit of a different one, based on the next patch coming out, which is patch 10.0.5, which is now just over a week away, depending on when this video goes live, but it should be roughly a little bit over a week away at this point, and there's a lot of things you can do to prepare yourself for this patch, and make millions of gold when the patch comes out, and that is what this video is for, it's probably going to be like a video series, as I want to give you guys some tips and tricks on what you can do to prepare for the next patch. Before that though, I want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys for the support on YouTube. The support has been massive lately and I can't thank you guys enough. The support on the subscriber numbers and the videos as well. And I'm actually so happy that we're able to do so much in Dragonfly together, make gold in different ways, do farming together, crafting professions, and I'm trying to give you guys advice and you're giving me advice back in the comments as well. But it's a very simple biotic relationship and I'm very thankful for it so once again thank you so much the community we have going on here I think is incredible and we're I, I think we're making so much gold together which is absolutely incredible and once again thank you and I hope you're enjoying Dragonflight just as much as I am one more shout out to everyone that's picked up my Dragonflight gold guide as well and if you haven't picked it up and you want to know more about it it's basically a 170 pages long pdf document that I made for gold making in Dragonflight itself and it's based on steady gold farms transmog gold farms, pet type of gold farms, and also, obviously, dragonflight gold farms. It also talks about professions in dragonflight, specializations, and way more about gold making in World of Warcraft in general. We also have a private Discord server attached to the guide as well, and you also get early access to videos, exclusive videos, and I've made a list of white and grey transmog items coming in patch 10.0.5, which you can get access to in that gold guide's Discord server so you can check that out through the link down below in the video description and the pinned comment and you can also use the code Solheim to get it for half price. With that being said, let's get into the video and for this one I want to show you guys some white items you can buy from vendors that will probably go up in price when this becomes transmogable in patch 10.0.5. So what we are talking about today is white items you can buy from vendors and when patch 10.0.5 comes out, which is our literally in about one week from now, one week and one or two days, then you can transmog these items. And even if they're soul bound right now, these white items will become, become bound on equip when that patch comes out, so they can be traded on the auction house. But I do think all the white items I'm going to be showing you today will be like, you can sell them right now and start making profits on people not knowing where to buy them, and maybe stocking up in advance of the patch coming out. So you can literally start doing this right now, but I I would wait and sell, and sell, like you're probably going to sell more of them when the patch comes out, and the fact that white items are now transmogable means that these vendor flips will be a thing for the rest of World of Warcraft. It's not like this will make you gold right now, like just now, it's going to make you gold one year from now, two years from now, and the profit margins will always be based on supply versus demand, so the more people start doing this, the less profits you make, and the more competition you have as well. With that being said, let's take a look at one of these uh, vendors. So here we go. Richard Hatstock, the Haberdasher. And from this one, you can buy a violet hat and a purple turban. You can see right now, these already have a market value. So people are already selling them on the auction house. And this one right here, the market value has gone up by 154% after the announcement of patch 10.0.5 and the actual release date. Now the market value is setting at 69,854 gold, but the region market value average is 8.5 so do with that information what you will and these prices are from Europe obviously also violet hat this one has a market value of 4.3 almost 4.4k and has gone up by 403% after the, the announcement of patch 10.0.5 and it has a region market value average of 4.4k you can also see the sell rate which is 0 0.012 so you shouldn't really be buying these right now and expect them to make you millions of gold every single day it's going to be a very slow burn but the more items you stock up with the more sales you will get as well so basically just buy as many of these as possible send them to a bank character that you post on the auction house and just repost them until they eventually sell and produce some 
make steady cash flow income. That is basically what you want to do with transmogs anyway. You want to have as many different items as possible on the auction house. That way, when people are looking for transmog, there's a higher chance they buy your item. So have as many different ones as possible on the auction house at the same time. So this vendor right here is located in the old Dalaran, and it's right here on the map. So right outside the Grey Fang Enclave inside this building right here, you can find this NPC in the old version of Dalaran. Now another item that I personally think has a very unique appearance, and maybe not like unique, but I think it looks pretty cool, is an item you can buy from any weapon merchant in pretty much any major city. It's not just Stormwind, but for example, it is in Stormwind if you're playing Alliance, you can buy it right here in the trade district. And this one is actually selling for a lot of gold on the auction house right now, and that is called the Dacian Phallix. This one has a region market value average of 25.5k, and also a region sale average of 4k gold, and you can buy it from two silver from this vendor right here and the weapon itself looks like this so that is why i think it looks pretty cool it's basically like a long type of katana you can use for a ninja purpose or like a ninja transmog setup and i think that looks pretty cool it is a two-handed sword but if you're playing a warrior for example you can transmog two of them having two two-handed weapons looking like this i think it looks kind of cool and having a ninja setup with this sword could definitely work quite well so buy a couple of these and throw them on the auction house at the same same time because they're selling for thousands of gold and you buy them for two silver from this vendor right here. Next up, we have three more items in one location, located from the Tiernan Anvil Heart, a weapon merchant in Grizzly Hills, and this one will offer you the Aldar Guardian Rifle. You can see right now, this one has a region market value average of 4.4k. The Drainix Sparring Blade, this one has a market value of a 4 45.6 thousand gold and a min buyout of 53.1 gold on my survey and also has gone up by 49% in market value and a region market value average of 8,000 gold. You also have the Drainic Warblade with, uh, which sells for a lot less but still sells for a decent amount of gold considering you buy it for 8.5 silver. So the Drainic Warblade looks like this which is why it's not selling for too much. The Aldor Guardian rifle though has a very very unique look for being a gun after all it looks very very different and also the Drainix sparring blade has a very unique appearance for being a sword so this one right here I can definitely see why this one has such a high value and it looks very unique and has a very unique appearance for being a white item the location for this vendor is right here at the Westfall Brigade encampment in Grizzly Hills and there's several vendors that will sell you these items and I'll be linking the the links all the uh, all the links will be in the video description down below for the main items that i'm looking for so from this vendor right here the main item i'm looking for is the drainic sparring blade and i'll be linking the drainic sparring blade in the video description down below so you can check it out for yourself to see all the different vendors that are selling them i am just giving a couple of examples or one example per per item to show you where i'm personally buying them so even though this one is an alliance only location there's definitely plenty Places for Horde to buy them as well. So I'm just going to buy a couple of them now while I'm here on this character. So there we go, I'm bringing a couple of those with me back to the next location and I'll see you over there. Now the next location that I want to bring up during this video is the Blood Elf Starting Zone. The Blood Elf Starting Zone offers you a great variety of different weapons you can buy to increase the amount of items you have on the auction house, and some of them are actually selling for a decent amount of gold, so let me just show you. It's Raelis Dawnsaur, the weaponsmith in Sunstrider Isle. So just literally make a brand new character if you want to, but you will need to have some copper to buy these items. You can just go around, kill a couple of mobs and get those coppers super quickly, or you can bring a max level over here or just make a new character and log over to your main send yourself some gold and the issue will be sorted for you so here we go it's located right here in literally where you start off your blood elf just walk a few steps over here and the vendor will be waiting for you so over here you have the arcane forged axe for example a very different looking axe this one currently has a region sale a region market value average of 146,000 gold which is a lot of gold for sure especially 
especially for a weapon you can get from a starting zone, selling for 58 copper. The Arcane Forged Dirk as well, selling for 225,000 gold, and it looks like this, so it has a very unique appearance, sure, but is it worth that much gold? Probably not, but some, some people might buy it for that price. And Arcane Forged Mace, for example, has a price of 61.9k, looks like this, you also have the Arcane Forged Short Sword, which is like a Blood Elf themed short sword. This one is selling for 87.5k gold and the Mana Gathering Staff is a very cool looking staff and any Blood Elf will probably want this one for a Blood Elf type of transmog and it's selling for 63.7k. You also have the Stiff Short Bow which is a very simple short bow type of transmog and it's selling for 157,000 gold right now with the region market value average across all servers in Europe. So worst case scenario, buy a couple of these items right now, throw them up in the ocean house, and if one of them sell, uh, if one of them sells, that is basically like a free WoW token from buying a weapon from the literal starting zone and putting on the auction house. Now they do have a very low sell rate, I can't actually see the sell rate right now, but I'm, I'm just gonna say it's probably 0 0.01 or 0 0.001, just like the other items you've looked at so far. Either way, definitely worth knowing about and make a Blood Elf and buy like one or two or three of each of these items and just constantly have them on the auction house because it costs you basically nothing. Thing, and the upside is massive. Now for the final vendor that I want to show you guys in this video, we're actually going all the way back to Valdraken where we started the video as well and talking about the Gardener series which is selling you garden supplies and this one is located on the northern side of Valdraken inside this building right here and he will offer you all of the farmer's items, you definitely, you had to get these from either your garrison or from, it was from the garrison or from the actual farmland in Mists, right? So you had to buy the farmer's hoe, farmer's broom and farmer's shovel. Now you can buy these items from this guy standing right here and they are selling for thousands of gold while the farmer's hoe is selling for 500 gold on my survey with a region market value average of 1.2, farmer's broom is selling for 1.4 and farmer's shovel is selling for almost 1.5. So they're selling for a lot of gold considering their white items and they have a sell rate of 0.01 so once again you have to consider they have a very low sell rate but you want to have as many different white items as possible on the market at all times and definitely just buy these items right here to increase the amount of items you can have on the auction house at all times and if some of them sell well you're going to make a massive amount of profit the profit you will make when you make a sale is absolutely unmatched on these items so have as many as possible on the auction house at all times and you should be seeing some steady gold uh, gold income 24-7. Now there's definitely a lot more items I could have shown you in this video, but considering the video itself is already 13 minutes long, I think we'll end it here, and if you want to see a part 2, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Once again, we have a full list of white and grey items you can obtain, obtainable in my Discord server as well, which is uh, the Gold Guide Discord server, so by checking out my Dragonflight Gold Guide, you will get access to a document containing all of the white and grey items that I'm personally looking to buy and farm for and get from vendors. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you follow the advice, I hope it helps you make a lot of gold in Dragonflight, and definitely, if they do sell, which they probably will after all, they are transmog, they have a very low sell rate, but if you just constantly keep at it, some of them will sell and give you a massive amount of gold and a massive chunk of profit. So hopefully you're able to make millions with this. If you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a like down below, and subscribe to the channel for more Dragonflight gold making tips and tricks. Either way, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you again very soon.